Working together with the Technical University of Delft is uh, really important for the team because they um, work with the newest innovations and have the best experts in different fields. At Delft University we have various collaboration projects with the giant Alpacin and this is one specific uh, project that really focuses on making sure that Tum Dumoulin get this competitive advantage at the time trial. In cycling and especially in time trialing it's about seconds, about small watts and uh, yeah, even if we get only a, a little difference with uh, a faster student, make, it will make a big difference maybe in, in result. So what we did is we combined uh, the expertise of various uh, researchers within the university and made sure that they came together within this project. At first we scanned Tom Dumoulin uh, to make a 3D scan. <laughs> Next, we did a 3D print of Tom Dumoulin to make him a 3D full version mannequin of his, uh, of his body. The mannequin is pretty special because it's uh, like a human figure with lots of details and it's 3D printed. And normally if you 3D print something, it's a small object or a big 3D print is 20 by 20 centimeters and this is like a life-size mannequin. So we had to slice the body in four parts, we had to uh, cut the leg off. The straight leg we could print in one time, curved leg we had to cut in two pieces. Also the head was printed separately and the two arms. With all the details of the, the, the real person inside, so it's a, it's a real static tom. And the next step is to put this mannequin into the wind tunnel and test his aerodynamics and make sure we get the right fabrics for its suit. In a normal wind tunnel um, you can measure the aerodynamica, but you can only um, measure if it's faster or slower and you don't know really why something is faster or slower. You cannot see the airflow. So that's why we use a spe uh, specific technique. It's called uh, particle image velocimetry. And what it means is that we introduce small particles into the airflow so that we can v um, follow these particles with our cameras. And in that way we can uh, measure and quantify um, the airflow. And in this case we use a very specific technique that was developed partly um, in Delft. And we use small soap bubbles filled with helium and the soap bubbles exactly follow the motion of the air. And in that way, by using uh, different cameras and illuminating them with a laser, we can, um, we can measure the airflow around the cyclist and in that way uh, better understand the flow to, uh, to minimize the drag in the end. So what's really important is uh, to know what fabric should be wear in the suit. So some parts need to be smooth, some part needs to be rough, and uh, this specific alignment of the various patches is very important for your aerodynamic drag. So if you do it right, you can get some large differences in aerodynamic drag and resistance. Uh, we have Tom now in his uh, TT position in, uh, in a model, so we don't have to travel around the whole world to, uh, to look for wind tunnel uh, testing. But we have, uh, we have the 3D uh, print and we can do everything, every uh, test we want. So now it's for the suit, we can test helmets, we can test uh, everything. Yeah, we are really happy with, uh, with this first, uh, first model. Mm -hmm.